Kia ora, good evening. A Three News investigation has uncovered widespread evidence of pollution by car wreckers operating in Auckland. Oil, battery acid, coolant and other toxic waste is being drained onto the land with little or no regard for the environment. The Auckland Regional Council is responsible for policing the wreckers' yards, but it estimates as many as 20% of them flout the law. Jane Luscombe joins us live from a wreckers' yard in Onihanga. Jane. Mike, this yard is one of the few operating properly. Oil and toxic waste are kept in containers and then sent for recycling, and a real effort is made to prevent pollution here. But you don't have to go far to find evidence of other yards that just don't care. It's a job that should be done by council officers, but for five years, Peter Gormley's been monitoring sites for a wrecker that plays by the book. He says until a few months ago, this land was used to break up Mitsubishis and ship the parts to Jordan. Probably did a big piece of a thousand vehicles. The wreck has disappeared, but it's what he's left behind that's alarming. This is in drips. This is sumpfuls. It looks like rich topsoil, but when you rub it between your fingers, it's a different story. Topsoil doesn't leave a stain like that on you, does it? No. Gormley reckons the entire 2,000 square metre site is contaminated. There'd be oil, there'd be brake fluid, there'd be battery acid. In some patches, it was up to 20 centimetres deep. So how many places are there like this around Auckland? I would say there is conservatively, conservatively 35 that I know of. Yeah. And there'd be a hell of a lot more that I don't know of. Right. It took three years of complaints from neighbours before another wrecking business moved from here. The residents say oil slicks spilled into their gardens after heavy rain and killed their plants. It's definitely oil. It was black. It went all the way down the street, right down to the neighbours, about three houses away. So we all got it. Their, their uh, gardens get soaked with oil as well. From there, it went into a nearby stormwater drain, then into a stream. Every week, Auckland Regional Council gets several calls from the public about fish and eels killed by pollution. Warren Strong spends thousands every year disposing of engine fluids and air conditioning gases correctly at his yard. That hole in the ozone, um, aircon gases are causing that. Um, I don't know of any businesses that are collecting it apart from us. He says there's no inspection process to make sure others do the same. My kids have got to breathe the air. My kids' kids have got to breathe the air. It's going to kill people eventually. He blames the ARC for failing to inspect scores of businesses that dismantle thousands of cars a year. The council says that's about to change. From the end of this month, its officers will be checking every yard they can find, though they know it won't be easy. We believe there's 80% of the operators are not compliant. Um, and as, as you've identified, quite often you'll go to a place and you'll find that the operators have gone. Um, there's been complaints and they've uptailed and gone to another site. Now, the ARC have various ways that, that, that they're going to deal with the people they catch, and these range from ordering them to clean up their yards to instant fines to prosecution. But they haven't yet decided whether this is going to be an ongoing inspection process or just a one-off blitz. But either way, Peter Gormley says that they have promised action before in the past and failed to deliver, so he's going to believe it when he sees it. Jane, thank you.